drafted someone in particular and thinking forward to Washington, you guys find them to be a tough team or are they like a 2021 Ohio State all over again? No, no, no. Washington's definitely a very good team. Uh, they kind of remind me a lot of kind of what this team is and what they're built on. Just a lot of guys who are willing to do whatever they whatever they can to help win a game. You know, they fly around the field. They play with a lot of energy. When they make big plays, they they carry that momentum from their offense to their defense, from their defense to the offense. You know, they're very good. And um, I think it's going to be a good matchup for us. Hey, we are going back from John Sports and Ron. Um, I remember we were all out in Hawaii in 2020. Rome was here. You guys yeah. were on the same team. You guys have a relationship since then? Have you talked? Uh, what's, what's that relationship like? Um, I, I don't really like talk to Rome. I may have slid up or said congrats or something like that a while back. But, uh, you know, when I met him, he's a very, very respectable, humble guy. Very good. Um, you know, I look at him as a friend almost. You know, when I met him, you know, I, I bonded with him a little bit, went my time with him. But, uh, you know, we haven't talked much since, but he's a very good guy. What's the offensive game plan against Alabama or against uh, Washington? How does the how does the game plan against Washington differ than Alabama? It just generally is a much different defense, uh, much different defensive philosophy. They've got an offensive head coach. Alabama's obviously got Nick Saban. You guys approach this game wildly different, or is it we're Michigan? We're going to stick to our basics, do the same thing, no matter who we play. Um, you know, no matter who we play and uh, what the matchup is. I feel like we got a lot of options for whatever defense throws at us. You know, we're going to take what they give us and, uh, you know, we're going to look for big plays. And, you know, I'm expecting a lot of guys to make big plays in this game. You walked into the end zone, touchdown, um, game time touchdown, two minutes left. What went through your mind at that exact moment? You kind of jumped over the goal line in excitement. Um, you know, in that two minute drive, it could have been anyone that, uh, that could have went in there. I think it was a second down when that play happened. So, you know, I was pretty confident if that play didn't work, we was going to come back with another one and, you know, just had ultimate confidence in the coaches and these players to get us in the end zone. And, you know, I'm just lucky and blessed that it happened to be me. And, you know, it's just a great feeling to be able to cross that end zone and tie the game up for our team. Did you ever think about that growing up, like how to score a game tying or game touchdown in the Rose Bowl or a college football championship game? Uh, definitely, definitely not the Rose Bowl. Like, I never thought that I would be the guy to, um, to make big plays, but, you know, like being who I am and how I grew up and, you know, how I think and process information, you know, I'm not really surprised. Um, you know, I put in a lot of work and I prepare a lot for these games. So, you know, when I get my opportunity, I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know I had uh, some whatever I said last week, but, you know, I think the NIL program here is good. I think it's more focused on, you know, development for players, uh, winning national championships, winning games, uh, developing people not only on the football field, but for the rest of their life, you know. Um, one thing, my opinion on NIL is I feel like you lose track of what your main goal was coming to college. And, you know, my goal to come to college was never to hold a lot of money or get a lot of money. I wanted to use college as an opportunity to better my life. And I feel like Michigan does a good job at that. Yeah, uh, Mark Pearson, WNEM up in Flint. But actually, this question is from Hawaii News Now. Okay. Uh, there are affiliate out in Hawaii. Okay. And they were just asking, what kind of pride do you take being from that state and, and, and representing that state being here? Yeah, I mean, definitely a lot, man. Uh, growing up in Hawaii, it, it's a special place. And, you know, that, that bond I have with that whole island, you know, I feel like that whole island supports me. And, and any kid that's from there, they support them. And, you know, walking around with that pride, knowing that, I have a chance to represent my hometown and you know it's different from where other people grow up it's not like um like i'm the only one i'm the only one on this team and you know it's just a lot of pride to get the care of myself i got the 808 tatted on me you know wherever i go and wh whatever i do for the rest of my life you know that's who i am and that's where i'm from Thanks,
Robin, one of Washington's wide receivers, Giles Jackson. I know you were close with him. You were at Michigan. Can you describe when you first met him and how you guys sort of got to, got to know each other? Yeah, I mean, he was a cool guy. Uh, <laughs> kind of reminds me a lot of Samaj Morgan, just a, a guy who kind of lifts the mood up in, in, in a lot of places and cracks a lot of jokes and, you know, very, very good athlete as well. Um, I only wish he was still on this team. I mean, he's a good guy to be around. Um, every every time I've had an experience with him, it's always been positive. So, you know, I love that guy. Was it surprising when he transferred to Washington? Um, you know, I talked, I talked with him, so... You know, it was, it was a little bit shocking, but, uh, you know, he thought that was the best option for him. And, you know, if, if he thinks that, then I agree with him, too. Hey, Roman, you've been flush for J.J. all year, but in third down, some of the most targets in the passing game. Is there a certain route, maybe, from a wheel or an out or a slant that you have the best chemistry with J.J.? I want to say it's one route. I feel like it's just just getting an open spot for him and making it, making it an easy throw for him. and. You know, just doing everything I can to make a good play for him. I feel like that's where the chemistry or the trust comes from. Similar question to the Hawaii question. Uh, to to LA, uh, you played with him in high school. Uh, what's that relationship like, and what's it going to be like lining up on top of the side of Oh, you're talking about Tui? Tui, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I played with Tui. He's cool. Um, when I was a younger guy, he was one of those guys on the team who was like the, the highly rated recruit. So, you know, him kind of being a role model for us younger guys and kind of opening the door and leading us and showing us, you know, like this, can, this is possible. You know, this is a thing you can do. You can come here, you can play football, you can go to the, the next level and do good, you know. And uh, him being a role model, you know, that was a lot for me. And, and just watching him go go to UW and, and follow his dreams, you know, it, it made it that much easier for me to want to do it too. Um, UW's defense is, uh, they're really good. You know, they fly around the field. They play with a lot of effort. They're physical. They get moving, like, they get moving. And whatever they give us, you know, we're going to take it. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to win this game. Up. The Big Ten media day comes full circle, but you, you said there was unfinished business. You and Blake were very adamant about that. Being one game to play, has that magnitude of this game really sunk in, knowing that all the way back in whenever that was, August, that's a statement you made, and now you have a chance to prove that people right, you're telling right in between. Yeah, definitely from the outside, you can see that as um, that pressure, that magnitude building up as we go into the national championship game. But, you know, in my opinion, I feel like this team and these coaches do a great job of just focusing focusing on what's next, you know, the next game, not worried about what's in front of us. And I feel like that's really helped me just focus on the game, you know, not making it bigger than what it really is and just going out there and doing my best. One more. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't take too many uh, trips. Um, being out in Hawaii, I didn't take too many trips. So I remember I went to <coughs> Cal, UCLA, Michigan, and then Oregon in that order in the, in the same week. And, you know, from being at UCLA and Cal and um, them showing me a lot of love too. But, you know, just the love and was different when I got out to Michigan. And, and seeing the weight room and, you know, the training room and the facility and the fields and the second field and the grass Ladies field. Ladies and gentlemen, five and, um, minutes every, are remaining in the uh, Michigan media session. Five minutes are remaining. And then uh, everything they uh, they showed me was just like, you know, this this is what I want. This is, what I, this is where I want to be. I want to do everything I can to better my body, better my mind, better my academics, you know, better my football career, you know, learn the game of football and, you know, just just be more than just a football player. And, you know, I felt like when I got to Michigan, I've just seen everything and they put into the process, you know, it really stood out to me. I got two real fast. So it's Roman, who's the strongest guy on the team? 
I think it, I think it's Chris Jenkins. It's Chris and probably Trente. I seen them throw up some like insane amount of weights and like Turkish get up a two hundred pound dumbbell. It's uh, it's absolutely insane. Like watching them pick weight up like that and carry it, like that's that's unreal. Like one hand, like two hundred some pounds, like that's insane. I'm, I'm gonna say me. I'm always gonna say me, but <laughs> there's some dudes on the team. Uh, Iman, Keyshawn, am I missing anyone? Junior be sliding for a bigger guy. He's really fast too. Oh great. Hey Roman, can you talk about how special this group of girlfriends is? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> these these receivers we have are definitely special. I mean, uh, if you turn the camera around. He's got a big old hat on. I mean, I was wearing it earlier, so I don't blame him. And that's the type of group we have. We we be in the meeting room. We be at practice, cracking jokes, just having fun. And uh, you know, these guys are next up. They're they're all really good too. So you know, I just love being around them. Why do you always bring donuts to the receiver? I only brought it twice. Why do you do it? Bring cookies. My mom brought cookies. Because you guys like it. Because you like it. <laughs> Roman, it's a question I'm sure you've been asked a lot. But like, for people who will never get to be in the shoes that you're in, playing for a national title, how do you describe, maybe not the experience like here, but just the opportunity and how you process getting ready for it? Um, it, it's unreal, man. Just uh, the amount of support we get just from Michigan and the amount of other people who are watching us and following us, it's uh, it's unreal. It's a, it's a great blessing. You know, I like to tell myself um, you want to be a leader in the group and then you want to be the leader of the leaders, and I feel like that's what this team's striving for. Uh, Roman, knowing that there's another number one, you know, uh, very talented number one, I don't know much of a challenge for you. Uh, for me, I want to. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the Michigan media session. In approximately 30 minutes, Washington's media session will begin. You want me to answer it? You know, I feel like wearing a jersey like that. You know, that, that's a special jersey. Even like zero, zero's OD, and you just want, you just want to be the best person wearing that number no matter what team you're on no matter who you're playing you want to be the best like number one number zero number six on the field at all times white uh i think i, I think it's the fried liver that's that's my move all right <laughs> thank you